my tutorials don't always turn out exactly like I expected. I usually wing it. Sometimes they turn out better, sometimes they don't turn out so good. This one turned out awesome. So in today's tutorial, thought you see that? Pretty cool, huh? Anyway, in today's tutorial, guess what? We are making this shirt. And it turned out much better than I thought. So let's go to the studio. We are in the studio, so let's get started. I'll show you how I made this shirt. For this tutorial, what we're going to need is a new shirt. Well, it can be a used one, but I found this shirt. It's a V-neck, but it's the only one they had. And I found this shirt. All of them were three or four dollars at Walmart. If there's not a Walmart or a place where you can get it cheap like this, I put a link below to get it for like between four dollars and ten dollars. So you'll need a black t-shirt or a dark color. This is freezer paper. It usually comes in smaller rolls, but this is all I could find. Uh, they have this at Walmart too, or in the links below. This has like 33 yards, which that will make like 100 t-shirts. So all you need is a little bit. And all this is is paper that is covered with plastic on one side. You're gonna need some bleach, but not pure bleach. Half water, half bleach, so 50% solution of bleach and make sure you mark your bottle. For this tutorial to work real well, use a picture, uh, find a picture that is black and white. So uh, you gotta get some good contrast because you're going to have the black t-shirt and then the white bleached part. Uh, you can do grays, but we're not gonna do gray uh, mid-tones in this tutorial, we'll do it on the next one. This is going to be straight out black and white. So. I went to the internet and looked at some pictures like that one or that one or that one right all black and white and decided that I wanted which one I wanted so once I picked it I printed it out and I've decided on this one because for this tutorial it's just black and white there's no mid-tones the next time we do a t-shirt we'll do one like this where you have some gray white and black but today we're doing this one. So print it out, a good size for your shirt, and set it aside. I'm going to take this piece of silicone, but you can use cardboard, and I'm going to slide it in the shirt to protect the backside from any bleach uh, soaking through. It will also help keep the shirt nice and flat. The next step, we're going to take the freezer paper. We're going to roll a piece about the size of the shirt. And we're going to take the plastic side, which is the shiny side, and put it down on the shirt. For this next step, I'm just going to use the, this iron. It's on medium heat, and I'm just going to iron over the paper just to make the plastic stick a little bit to the t-shirt. Now we take the design and put it exactly where we want it on the shirt. That's usually about three or four inches below the collar and in the middle of the chest. Once it's centered, I'm just securing it with a little piece of tape. Now I'm taking a ballpoint pen to trace around the whole shape so that it leaves an imprint on the freezer paper. Push hard so it leaves an imprint.
Now I'm going to carefully peel off the design, make sure that the imprint is there. I don't know if you can see it, but the imprint is there. And you can save this if you want to make more t-shirts. Uh, this step is critical. We're going to take a sharp knife and we're going to cut along the lines that we just imprinted onto the design. Just make sure you cut only the paper and not your shirt. Which you can actually get the hang of it because you feel when the blade goes to the paper and all you have to do is stop right there. Actually, I'm going to draw with this Sharpie so that you can see what I am cutting. So I'll continue cutting all along the Sharpie lines. Once we're done cutting along the lines, we're going to peel off the white area. So all this area that is white. Just do it carefully so that these parts that are black, these little holes, they stay stuck to the shirt. And if they are not sticking, then just put the iron on them again. So this is done. Now we're going to work with the bleach. But bleach is an irritant and it will irritate all your mucous membranes, which is your nose, throat, etc. So make sure you have your windows open so you get a nice cross breeze or you have a fan on. And also we're going to wear gloves. There you go. So now this is set to the finest mist possible. And we're going to have bunch of uh, paper towels. Just bundle it up and we're going to mist the shirt and then dab it dry and mist and dab it dry. That way if you get any extra bleach it doesn't run under the paper. Okay? Because this is not perfectly sealed. So here we go. So mist and dab. You see it start turning color, it's starting to turn red. So once you're done spraying the, the shirt, you're going to wait a little bit and then you're going to peel off the, this paper and throw it in the washer with cold water to set the color. I am off to the wash with this guy. Now I learned a few lessons from this process, the hard way, obviously, because I've never done this before. I bought the one black shirt that was like bleach resistant, so it did not turn white. That was the bad thing. I sprayed it a few times and nothing. A little bit. The good thing is it gave it the coolest shade ever. This is the coolest looking shirt. Check it out. See that? It's not even white. How cool is that? It's like a gray color, right? So anyways, I just wanted to show you that technique on how to do your own shirts. And that's especially helpful if you have a small budget and you have a little haunted house or a family, you know, like your own home and you want to have like shirts for your crew or your family, this is like the perfect thing. Buy the shirts for four or five bucks at Walmart or, uh, or online and then grab some stencils, some bleach, write the name of your haunt and you're good to go. So I'm going to make a bunch more of these and dress myself on a budget. Alright, there you go. 
So if you think this is a cool tutorial, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe because this is the cool stuff we do here. And one thing you can do for me, if you think somebody can use this tutorial, share it. Use one of the buttons here and share it to your Facebook or whatever. So until next time, I'm Eduardo Talbert with Monster Tutorials. I will see you then.